Bless the Lord. Good night. Praise the name of the Lord. I must acknowledge the Holy Spirit of God. He is the head of our life. Hallelujah. Pastors, evangelists, ministers, brethren, everyone on this platform, I acknowledge and I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome again tonight to our Bible study discipleship class in the month of fasting under the team call to holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, as I pray. Father, we thank you for tonight teaching. We thank you for this platform, mighty God. We thank you for every brethren right now. And God, as we come tonight, God, upon this platform to be edified to the power of the Holy Spirit, we take authority. We bind principalities. We bind power, spiritual wickedness in high places. We bind human spirits and religiosity in the name of the Lord. We pray that teaching will be easy, unction to function on the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, let it flow, mighty God, from your throne room of grace. Feed us tonight, Holy Spirit, to your power, your word. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for what you have already done and what you are about to do. We thank you for the consecration anointing even on this platform. Saturate homes, saturate minds, mighty God, as we commit and submit to you. Teach us, Holy Spirit, have your way. We bind principalities again. We shut off portals. We seal and cover home and families in the name of the Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and dwell with us tonight. Teach us, mighty God, as we open our hearts and be receptive unto you. Bless every heart, my God. Teach us, Lord, to your word. O oh God, speak word of encouragement. Met every need. Open our eyes as we are here tonight to learn of your holiness and to walk in it. Bless us, O God, tonight. These mercies we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Scripture reading, James chapter 1, reading from verse 12 to 16, it says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Verse 16, do not err, my beloved brethren. Praise God. We thank you for your word. Tonight, God, as your word has already blessed and sanctified, your word is powerful and quicker than a sharp edged sword, two edged sword. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet tonight and a light unto our path. Holy Spirit, have your way as you teach us tonight on temptations. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, James chapter 1 is saying to us tonight that. James, the half-brother of Jesus, he wrote, he opened and addressed his letter to the 12 tribes which are scattered aboard the house of Israel. He was inviting them to receive the gospel and come into the fold of Christ. Hallelujah. So James addressed the scattered tribes, which is Israel inviting them to receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. He encouraged them to remain joyful in the midst of trials because the outcome of this type of testing is perseverance and a mature, complete faith. So God is saying here that through the book of James that we have to go through our temptations. It is to allow our faith to be strong, is to preserve us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So this type of testing is to preserve, to get mature, and to build up our faith. He also encourages that God is faithful to his process and will grant wisdom so we can endure trials. So as we go through our process, God will give us the wisdom to endure all the trials of temptation. Amen, church. Hallelujah. He also says, let it be aware 
he also he also let it be aware to the tribes of Israel that God does not tempt us or tempt his people. Rather, temptations come from our own evil desires inside. Rather, temptation comes from our own evil desires inside. Amen. James also gives instruction about listening, listening, quick to hear and slow to speak, acting according to the word of God. Just don't be hearers, but be doers of the word. We just need to do it, manifest it, practice it, he says. He shows our knowing what is to say, show us who we truly are and living it out will give freedom and bless others around us. So when we live the word of God, when we practice what we, what we teach and what we hear, it shows persons around us how truly we become and we are called to holiness. Amen, church. Praise the name of the Lord. So he encouraged the church of God, which is us today, to be more listening, quick to listen, slow to speak, Huh? Be a doer of the word. Let us be doers of the word. Let us do it. Let us manifest it, he says. Hallelujah. And that is why he said, temptation. It, God, this did not, God does not tempt us as his people. Amen. The devil tempts us because we have desires. And as the preaching go forward that the enemy beguile Eve and possess her with the spirits of uncleanness. And that is where the desires comes in. The enemy see the seeds of unrighteousness and use it to tempt us. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So when we look on the word temptation, we're going into the verses, but we're looking on the word temptation. What is it? We hear the word temptations and we hear trials. So we, have to, we go to trials through temptation. But God himself, he does, not try, he does not try us and he does not tempt us. What he does, he brings us through testings. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when God tests us, he tests us to see where our faith lies, how much we trust him, and so much we can say about testing. But we're on temptation first. Amen. So temptation, this is strong desires and confrontations of the devil. So when the devil sees himself inside a vessel or a person, he tempts you. To manifest and cleanness. So this is something that is strong. Temptation is very strong. If I hear bridging somebody say, boy, the devil is strong in a man. Hey, shadababo sata. The devil is strong. Temptation. We're living in this world, his kingdom, and this hurt. He governs it very well. And he works through the mind, the battle mind. Praise God. So use temptation for us in the mind. So we want our minds to be unstable, unsettled. Amen. And that's when he tempts us to fulfill the desires of what he sees in our heart. Amen. So this is strong desires and confrontation of the devil. For a person to do something wrong or unwise. And when you do all of that, then we regret, regret what happened afterwards. Because when the temptations come and we fall into it, is afterwards we feel guilty, we feel bad. Amen. So we're learning tonight about temptation. Strong, evil desires. Enemy use it to confront us. It is, it is a trial in which man has a free choice of being or to be faithful or unfaithful to God. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we walk 
in the Lord Jesus and be tempted by the devil because he's a competitor. So he will always come and push things in our face for us to go on his track and to drag away by our own enticement and desires of this world. So whatever we desire of the world, he use it to drag us, to allow us to stray away from being faithful to Jesus Christ. So temptation comes in when we have a, a desire of the things of the world, materialism, idolatry, vanity, you know, love, money, greed, all of these things. And as, as, as John said, three things in his world, loss of the eye, loss of the flesh, and pride of life. So if you see these three things on our inside, we're not getting our deliverance. We're not confessing it to God. We're not allowing the Holy Spirit to heal us from these wounds and the things that we crave for in this world. Then the enemy is going to use them against us. It's a weapon for him to use against us. So we are learning tonight that temptation comes from the devil when he see a seed or a desire uh, to pull us even in this season. A lot of us desire a lot of things in this season. So I'm going to pull you away, distract you, confuse you, and then now you've been unfaithful to God. At the end of the day, we feel guilty, we feel bad, we want to condemn ourselves, we call ourselves name, we afflict ourselves. Because that's what the enemy wants to do to us. He wants to wound us all the time, over and over and over, and give us wounds to nurse. So instead we're going, we keep sitting down nursing wounds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So as we're going to James chapter 1, verse 12, it says here that, Blessed is the man that endure temptation. We have to endure so if you are a person that will endure your temptation, you are a blessed man. Amen. You're walking and you're abiding in the grace of God. Blessed is the man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. So we will receive a crown of life when we are tried and tempted by the devil and overcome. If we refuse to, you know, accept the teachings and then the temptation come and we fall into it, then we won't get a crown of life so easy. Praise God. Our reward is great, brethren, and we have to continue endure our temptations. So we're looking at how to endure temptations in verse 12. How can we really endure temptations? He says here, one. To endure temptations, we have to be spiritually, mentally awakened. So if I'm going to endure my um, temptation of the enemy, then I have to be spiritually awakened. Even though I may desire some things of the world, uh, if I'm so much sober and uh, 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 not allowing the things of the world to slow me down easily, then I can conquer the desires because the spirit of Awakeness and soberness in me is more stronger than my desire of the world. So if the desire that I have or you have for the world is more than your conscious mindset, which should be stable and sound, then the temptation will con conquer, conquer all the time. So to endure temptation, spiritually, mentally awakened, we have to be sober. So soberness will allow us to conquer and overcome temptations, especially if our minds is more strong, strong and alert and vigilant towards the things of the world. So even though we have desires, it won't override our minds. Hallelujah. Another one, aware to cycles and weaknesses. So if I'm going to endure temptations, Yes, as in the book says that if we endure and be tried, if we've been tried and we overcome, then we're going to receive a crown of life. So I have to aware that there's a crown of life await me. And I know I have a cycle and I have weaknesses, so I will not succumb to the thoughts and the enticement that it brings to the flesh. So therefore, I will have to endure. Amen. I have to subdue, submit the feelings to God. And aware that, oh my God, after this life, I'm going to receive 
a crown that is awaiting me. So we have to set our minds on the things above to overcome our weaknesses. Hallelujah to Jesus. Another one, be humble under pressure. How am I going to endure temptation when it comes in so rapidly? So strong. We have to be humble. Humble ourselves again under the mighty hand of God. And he will exalt us in due time. So be humble under the pressure, the pressures of life. You know, sometimes we go through a lot of disrespect. Sometimes persons lied upon us. We, they tell a lot of lie on us. They chastise us. They persecute us. And we have to be humble because these things are temptations. They call us names that they do to Jesus. Call him a lot of names. Belzebub. Hallelujah to Jesus. Provocation. And persons really treated us unfairly. It is temptation, brethren. We have to be humble. Because at the end of the day, God will rise us and give us a crown of life. And we are called into holiness, so we have to endure the pressure. Because the enemy wants us to go back into to sin and to put on the whole filthy garment that we used to wear before. So James encouraged the scattered tribes of Israel. And he said, slow to anger. Come into the full man and stay in God and practice and do the word and control our anger. It's a slow to anger. Quick to hear. Quick to hear the positive things and stay positive. Hallelujah. We will endure our temptation. So when we see some person speak, we can identify that they are wounded. So we, are, we won't allow them to, to pull us out and, and, and cause us to get angry so easily. So before we get hungry, we humble and stay calm and listen to the Holy Spirit in all, the, in all things. So when persons begin to retaliate and behave badly, they succumb to the temptations of the devil. Because he knew that we easily to get hungry. We have a weakness with our mouth. We have weaknesses with our ears. We quick to hear negativity. Hallelujah to God. And the Holy Spirit is saying to us tonight, slow to anger, brethren. Let us call to holiness. As we call to holiness, we have to be slow to anger. Don't get so hungry so quickly. It's going to uh, uh, cause us to, to fall into temptations easily. Amen. Slow to anger. Quick to hear. Quick to hear God's voice. Quick to hear his instruction. Quick to hear in the height of the pressure and the situation around you, positivity. Amen. And the final one here, uh, endure temptation. Fast and pray against the seed of unrighteousness. So if we find out that we keep falling into temptations, the seed of unrighteousness is so strong in our life as strong man, strong desires. So the flesh is more than the spirit of God. So we're more carnal than be walking into holiness. The scripture said to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. So we are to go in prayer and fasting and pray against the seeds that as we have inherited unrighteously and ask God to sever them out of our life. Amen, brethren, that the enemy don't ride on these seeds keep confronting us and we keep falling into it. So we need to be mentally strong, emotionally strong. So we go in prayer and fasting to get rid of, to rise above the, 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 the unrighteousness and the, the suggestions, the thought wars, the battles in our head, the giants on the inside. So fasting will build us. And prayer will tear down the network of principalities that want to trap us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seed of unrighteousness need to die out of our life. It is too alive. So because it is so alive, it causes us to fall down so easily into temptations. Amen, church, into maliciousness, into the bed of fornications, into, 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 into gluttonousness. We don't know to resist. Hallelujah. Into, into uh, the spirit of gambling and all these things, unrighteousness. 
So when we fast and then pray against these seeds and the temptations come, we will overcome it because God going to give us strength as we acknowledge we will overcome. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you understand already, brethren. Temptation, strong desires. It confront us every day. As we wake up, it confront us. Even our visions, the devil confront us with strong desires. Seed of unrighteousness. Hallelujah. We're moving to another point. Why we should resist and endure temptations. Why we should resist. Why we should endure it. It is very important, brethren, in verse 14 and 15 says, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. So it is important that we resist. And endure because when it get on our inside and, and root itself again, it's hard for us to really get it out because yearly, daily, monthly, sin has increased. Amen. And when it comes on our inside, it comes to kill the joy, the righteousness. As the word of the Lord said, when he created man and everything, everything was very good in the scripture. Amen. So we were created very good. But when the devil go to Eve and beguile her with the fruit of, of poison, the poisonous fruit of sin, and when she intake it, it allow her to be poisonous. Hallelujah. So the devil beguile her, poison her, to go and poison and beguile the man. Hallelujah. And when that happened, then here comes sin that rushed into man. They pass on from generation to generation, even to today. Amen, church? So we see we are now Christ in Galatians chapter 3 has break and destroyed the curse and gave us the deeper breath, the Holy Spirit, to help us resist the devil that he can flee from us. To endure temptation. Hallelujah. That we can receive the crown of life. It doesn't make sense we walk to the church and go to hell. It doesn't make sense we preach and talk to so much persons that we're not doing and living according to the word of God. We just don't want to be hypocrites like telling somebody to change. And at the end of the day we are not changing. So bridging call to holiness. God is saying that we will be tempted. But he gave us. Uh, the greater man on the inside. So the more we go in prayer and fasting and feed him, then he's going to get strong and help us to, resi hey, to resist and to endure. So we endure the pressure. We resist him. And when the pressure comes, we endure to the very end. And we shall be saved. Hallelujah. So why should we resist and endure temptation? The scripture said, when the seed of righteousness is conceived, Oh, God, help us now. We're going to bring forth death. Jesus, give us life. And the competitiveness of the devil, the poisonous seed of the devil, when it comes in our soul, the influences of the devil, it kills life. It kills the life that is in us, and we bring forth death. And that is what we have to fight for tonight. Brethren, we have to fight for. We have to fight for life. We have to stay in salvation. We have to stay in our blessing. Hallelujah to Jesus. Bless God. So why we should resist and endure temptations? As we're going into it, one. When we resist, when we resist and endure temptation, we continually have the access and the ability to activate godly benefits easily. Amen. So we can access and activate godly benefits easily when we resist the devil and endure the process of his temptations. We activate our benefits easily 
it doesn't hurt to activate because when we fall into temptation so often, we have to build, build, come back to a place and our prayer can become so effective. Amen. That the, the, the things that we ask of God, we don't have to wait on it so long. But when we stay above our weaknesses and continue to remain faithful to God and endure temptations, he gave us that divine connection. So the enemy wants to rob our connection, brethren, that we don't access our, our kingdom benefit easily. Amen. So he wants us when we use the blood of Jesus, it has no effect. If we keep falling into temptations, we, we, we're going to lose the power. Hallelujah. So when we use the blood of Jesus, it, has, it, has, it doesn't have much effect. Because we're not at the place our lifestyle not right. And that is why I say, call us into holiness. That whatever we speak in the name of the Lord, it shall be done. Praise God. Another one. The seed of sin will conceive and bring forth a family of spirits. It is important to endure and resist because if not, when the seed of sin enter and conceive, it's going to bring forth not just one, but families of spirits. As we teach on the family tree of spirit, pride, rebellion, sexual immorality, and forgiveness and um, suppression. So if we allow the seed of suppression to conceive in us, he's going to bring forth the entire family of suppression. So that is why it's important to resist and stop being suppressive and stop carrying around and endure the pain that we can come out victorious. It is important, Bridging, don't go according to your feel or to our, our feeling because when the seed get in, it's going to bring forth a family. Hallelujah. That's when it become hard. Another one. It is important because we want to remain a friend of God. We don't want when God come and, and want to speak to us, we connection cut off because we keep falling into temptation. We not even can hear the voice of the Lord no more. All we hear is the desire of the world because we allow one seed to get in. So all we feel now act up for is the desires that we're feeling for. Just keep rushing in to, to, to continue possess. Hallelujah. And repossess so we don't be friend of God. But when we endure, we continue to remain a friend of God. So when it comes down to us, we continue to, you know, have a good friendship. Another one. Fellowship and relationship with God effectively. Yes, so when we endure our temptations, our fellowship with God is sweet. When we sing and we worship, when we, we reason, as the scriptures say, come let us reason together. When we do that, our relationship becomes stronger. We bind much closer with God and we are much effective in what we do, effective in our fruits, effective in our tolerance, effective to endure temptations. So, you know, we have a spirit on our inside, which is the Holy Spirit now, will help us and we, 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 we alert to him. So he continue to be our friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't want the seed of unrighteousness, the seed of sin, brethren, to be in our life. We don't want it to get in, in our soul. Amen. We don't want it to, to take us over. So we have to remain, another one, remain fruitful, peaceful, blessed, and producing substance of God. So when we resist and endure, we will remain fruitful. We will remain peaceful. We will be blessed. And whatever we produce, we produce substance that others can, you know, eat from us, feed from us, bless also. Praise the name of the Lord. As the scripture said that when Adam sinned, fall to the beguile of the enemy, he stopped being fruitful. His peace has gone. Amen. We don't want to continue in a generational curse. We want to be fruitful. 
So we have to endure, we have to resist. Hallelujah. The trials is hard, I know, but God is well able to teach us. So James go as far as saying, when you go through temptation, you know, when you go through it, be joyful. Because at the first part of our journey, our temptation will come in, so we learn from it. Amen. So we learn from our mistakes that we can grow strong and strong and strong in the Lord, that we, we begin to resist and endure as we get and grow hold and mature in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you understand how we should really resist. Very important. Resist the devil. James said, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from us. He will flee. If we submit to God while we're going through a temptation, we still submit. We don't be, you know, annoyed with the temptation and just, just have your way. We don't give in to temptation so easy. We resist. We, we put up a fight. Yes, we have to fight, brethren. We have to fight, and it starts in our minds. Hallelujah. So we have to control our minds, gird up the lines of our mind, Peter said. Praise God that we can endure and resist temptations. Our final point, don't be deceived in temptation. Verse 16, don't be deceived in temptations. Hallelujah. Don't be deceived in temptations. Verse 16, do not err, my beloved brethren. Do not deceive my beloved brethren. Amen. Don't be deceived. When the temptation come, don't be deceived. Don't get anxious for nothing. Be quick to hear, slow to speak, James said to us tonight. Don't believe a lie, firstly. Because when the temptation comes, the enemy wants us to believe, and it is a lie. When you come with these poisonous fruits of lust of concupiscency, don't believe. It's a lie. When it comes with anger, murder, busy body, when it comes to beguile us, don't believe it's a lie. Hallelujah. Another one, rebuke the spirit voices quickly. Don't allow spirit voice to settle. It's going to conceive. Cast down quickly. Arrest the thoughts. Cast it down quickly. Because if we muse over it, think over it, it's going to conceive. And when it conceive, it's going to bring forth death. We're going to manifest because we believe it. And that's what we're going to do. Hallelujah. So rebuke spirit voices. And that is why we teach on the different spirit voices. The, the voices of the enemy. We have to know it. Identify it that we can cast it down quickly. Because if it conceive in our minds, go into our soul. Amen. Then we're going to bring it forth. Sin. And when, when sin. It is finished. We bring forth death. That's the word we're reading tonight. Hallelujah to Jesus. So rebuke the spirit voice quickly. Another one. Confess to God regular. Brethren. As we journey with God. We have to confess. Confess the seeds of unrighteousness in our life. That when the temptations come, you know, upon confessing to God, we get in our strength to endure. That we don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't believe a lie. The enemy come to manipulate us with the poisonous fruit of generational curses and unforgiveness. Anything he use, he can use anything, idolatry, to deceive us. He will say to, you, to us that you don't see that you're failing all the time. Everything you try, fail. 
We are to rebuke that voice. Hey, hallelujah. He speaks some things that we suffer and experience to us. To deceive us to continue to suffer in this sinful act. He's a master of lies. He's a spirit of lies. He's a devil of lies. And we have to rebuke him. Quickly. Confess to God regularly. God, I am a murderer. God, I am a thief. Because if you don't do that, I'm going to use these spirits to, to bring us down. I'm going to use it to tempt us. God, I, 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 I like to lust. I desire this. I desire that. Confess it. Just tell him. I am weak here, God. I need your strength because the season's coming again where the enemy going to come in stronger than the last season to bring me down. So we have to confess it. Amen, church. Hallelujah to God. And as we continue, don't be deceived in temptation. Don't go after feelings and how you feel. Feeling is deceiving. Very much. If you go over feeling, we're going to be deceived. How you feel, you have to talk about it. Because the enemy know that, you know, we're born in sin, shaping in iniquity, and in sin of our mother, they conceive us. And feeling connects to our subconscious memory. Yeah? And after that, I'm going to allow us to feel some things around us, which we have to go to God and ask him, is this you? Don't believe every feeling where you feel. Hallelujah. Since the five senses, God work with the five senses, so the enemy will work with the five senses. So because feeling is a part of the sense, one of the, one of the sense, feeling is a part of the senses, Yes, so when we, when we feel it, we have to say, God, is this you? Hallelujah. Because the devil will use feeling to deceive us. Praise God. Talk or you feel, get some clarity from the Holy Spirit or from an elder, mature person before we run with that feeling. Hallelujah. Another one, don't be religious. When the truth reveals, some of us will get religious when truth comes out. The devil says, not true. A lie. Religious spirit will tell us that that is not true. It's a lie. So when God wants to break some revelation to us as truth, the devil said that is not God. That is not written. God is not talking that way. God don't tempt us with evil. He's not an evil God. He's a God of truth. We are tempted by our own evil device, desires. Praise God. It's not an evil God to tempt us with evil and say, go kill that man. Go and, and, and commit fornications. Pack up and run out of church. No. Hallelujah. He's not a God of evil. And the final one, in my coming down, don't be deceived in temptations. Be careful of these three words that I'm about to say right now. These three words. It says, beguile, bewitch, and divinations. These three words oftentimes come in temptations. And when it comes, it comes to beguile, deceive you, bewitch you, as if it's the right spirit. And divination, speak some things, sound like God. Amen. So we have to be careful of these words, know them, understand them, identify them, that we don't be deceived. So brethren, temptations is when we really go after our own strong desires and confrontation of the devil. So whatever evil desire we have, an enticement we have, the enemy use it against us as a weapon. Amen. So for a person to do something wrong or unwise and then be regretful afterwards. It is a trial in which man has a free choice of being faithful or unfaithful. And now is not the time for us to be unfaithful to God. If never time we need Jesus Christ is now. Brethren, no time to backslide. No time to fall down in temptations. 
we have to endure temptations. There's a reason for to resist and endure temptations. And don't be deceived in when our temptations come from the devil. Ensure that your spirit man is stronger than your desire. So you can have 90% of the spirit of God on your inside desire things above. And 10%, you know, we have a little desire for the worldly things sometimes. But it has no root to deceive you for you to walk out of the will of God. So allow God to feed us tonight. Drink sincere milk. Get strong and healthy. Mature. And become an elder in God. That we can resist the devil and endure. Resist the devil and endure all the temptations. Amen. I hope you understand tonight's teaching. God bless your brethren. As we call into holiness, we will be tempted by the devil because he's very competitive. So we have to be watchful, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Hallelujah. And as James has encouraged us to stay in God and ask him for wisdom in every area that we are lacking, that we can endure our trials. God bless you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Almighty God, we thank you for tonight's teachings. We thank you for your revelation. We thank you for your understanding as we learn about temptation, mighty God. Any unrighteous seed that is in us, we root it up tonight that the enemy won't use it to drag us away, to entice us to walk away and be unfaithful to you. Lord God Almighty, we take authority over every unrighteous seeds. Oh, they will not take root in our life no more, Father God. We thank you for teaching and edification tonight. Bless every heart, bless every mind, bless every home. Mighty God, as we come to you, as you call us unto holiness, Lord, we're willing to submit, to commit, and to walk in sanctification. And God, and as we go through temptation in different seasons and times, Lord, help us to endure. Oh, God, allow your spirit man to grow big on our inside, to overcome our fleshy desires. Lord, we thank you for your word of strength, your word of encouragement to our soul tonight. Bless every heart. Hallelujah. As we back and embark upon your word, Lord God. Bless us indeed, Lord, we thank you. Enlarge our minds, our borders, our territories, as we crave for your word in our soul. Lord, help us now to be a doer of the word. Not only to be a hearer, but to be a doer. You say, count it all joy as we, we fall into diverse temptations. Because God is going to teach us to be wise, to walk with wisdom and, and as we continue our journey. Bless this platform, mighty God. Bless our home. We bind backlash. We bind repercussions. We bind retaliating forces. We bind... Oh, God, every negative spirit and religious spirits, mighty God, cover our home and seal with your blood, our home and family. We seal with your blood in the name of Jesus. And as we listen to your teachings tonight, as we acknowledge, as we acknowledge, we, we command and we declare that this, these spirits die by the fire of God. And we will rise in the newness of life and continue to run the race with patience. Bless us, we pray. In Jesus' name, hallelujah.